Hello, my marvellous sausages. Now, the new activity we've got, Altars of Summoning. Well, I thought it was just going to be like an intriguing three-player activity, but there's actually quite a few mysteries and secrets stuck in there that we don't really know what's going to happen with them yet. And there's also a way for you to get a brilliant buff that'll give you extra ammo, extra heavy ammo, and extra ability and super regen as well every time you start it. So first of all, let's talk about this buff. It's called a Lucent Blessing. Now you can get this, but you have to get it at the very beginning. So if you join partway through a match, you won't be able to get it. You're going to have to come back out and go back in again. But you know when you first arrive, you go up the, uh, up the tube and you pop out, and then there's the big circular lake with all the hive symbols around it. Now if you look at the symbols, there's two types of symbols. There's one that'll be quite a lot of them, and there's one symbol where there'll be only three of them. So you need to get your fire team to stand under where there are the three symbols. Do you see what I mean? So there's three fire team members and three symbols. The others is all duplicates of them. Once you do that, you get that lovely Lucent Blessing, which will give you a full armor charge, it'll give you improved ability regeneration, give your weapons a boost, it'll also drop some uh, orbs of power as well, and it'll give you, like I say, a recharge, and also on your super recharge too. Very good indeed. Now this Lucent Blessing is going to come in incredibly handy for the powerful tier, you know, the powerful blessing that you stick in. Not blessings, offerings. You see, you've got the feeble offering, you've got the robust offering, and you've got the power offering and that powerful offering at the moment is pretty difficult because you do get a good kick in when you get that one but you do get better rewards with it. Now, of course, not only does the Altars of Summoning build up your uh, reputation with the table, it'll give you the rank rewards down here as well. But if you're wondering what's in the loot pool, oh, I've got another opaque card there. Well, that's one of the things that's in the loot pool, the opaque cards. But of course, we've got the, all the new weapons as well. The Briar's Love, the Eremite, the Kept Confidence, the Semiotician, uh, the Locus Locutus, and the Eliactic Principle. And I do actually quite like that one. I've just had that one drop with Target Lock. So that's a pretty good machine gun that I'm going to keep an eye on. Of course, you can also get the uh, standard armor as well, the Veiled Tithe set, which is very, very sexy looking. And you'll be able to get the three types of offerings, the feeble, the robust, and the powerful. Here's one of the mysteries that I don't know how to solve at the moment. There are three areas which we fight, and there's one area which looks like it's kind of outside Savathun's tower or spire, I suppose you could call it. And then there is a statue of Savathun, or some kind of hive god, I reckon it's a Savathun anyway, holding a purple crystal, a large purple crystal, and you can shoot it and destroy it, and it doesn't seem to do anything at all, which gets me thinking this is going to be maybe something with a new mission that's going to be coming. Could be a new exotic mission, we don't know. There's lots of talk of extra areas outside of here that people have managed to glitch into and go out of bounds with. I keep clear of all those kinds of things, I don't want any spoilers in regard to story or what it looks like, but it could well be that this is lining up maybe for another deep dive kind of thing, which, which would be really, really interesting. Because one thing I have found out about is there's a door really high up in this area. You know where we activate the Lucent Blessing, we all stand on different pads that I just talked about earlier, and you look up and there's a massive, well it looks like a big metal donut. Actually it looks a little bit like the thing from the Grasp of Avarice. Well anyway, up in there I've seen somebody <laughs> go up there with their sparrow flying technique, which is just completely beyond me. And there's a door up there that we can get into, so maybe this turns into one of those anti-grav lifts and take us up there as well. Intriguing, eh? Now we do have one more mystery, and it does look like this is definitely where we're going to end up going in here. Because look, we've got five, is it one, two, three, four, five? Five blank seals on the door here, you know, like we usually smash up. Definitely, there's five seals here. We're going to end up going in here, you mark my words. I'm quite excited about this because I thought it would just be Savathun Spire that would have all the mysteries. This one's got loads in it. Now, there is one other thing hidden away here on the map. Now, you know when you come and start the, the Altars of Summoning, you want to go off to your left. This is the arena. I've only found this in this arena. It's not in any of the others, but if you have come across it, let me know in the comments because what we've got hidden 
away here is one of the Arc Attunement cards that we find in the Savathun Spire. And this is the only place in this that I found it. So, don't know what these are going to achieve, but if you come here to the waterfall and go through and behind the waterfall, look, there it is. Requires Arc Attunement. What stage this is going to come along at, I have no idea. Because I have seen what the cards will end up being. And there doesn't seem to be any mention of Arc Attunement. But some of them are classified, so nobody knows what's going to happen. But I thought that was a neat little thing hidden away there. Let me know in the comments if you found any more. And here's one final thing you might find very useful. The Throne World bounties are all completable while you're doing Savathun Spire and also Altars of Summoning. So make sure you go and visit Finch in the old Quagmire, giggity, and then go and pick them up from him so you can complete those and get some valuable XP so we can all tart up our lovely artifact. I can't wait to get that thing bottomed out so I can actually start using everything. Now those are the things I managed to find at the moment in regard to the uh, Altars of Summoning. Let me know in the comments if you've come across any Anything weird I'd love to know and I'd go and investigate and if you did enjoy the vid don't forget give me a like and a subscribe that really does help me out and uh, and well that's about it really thank you so much for watching me marvelous sausages I shall speak to you all together not all together <laughs> I'll speak to you all very soon I'm going to have a lie down and some form of tablet good night